Salutations, this is Grim Devel. Welcome back to our Let's Play of Caves of Cud. We are uh, Diash Chris. Uh, we are a... Uh, what are we? What's our... We're a wheel, wheel of the sun, right? That's our... <laughs> um, that's our... Our true kin clan. Where do you see that? Oh, there. True kin child of the wheel. There it is. On our character sheet. That makes sense. Um, we are still looking... We are still looking for this dang uh, Dromad Caravan for one of our first quests. Um, and we are not having a lot of luck. Uh, where are we on the map? Why am I having trouble seeing where we are? Oh, there we are. It's because we're green. Um, yeah, so we're going to continue looking. Um, and that's fine. We're just roaming around, killing things as we find them. Um, getting experience. And that's, that's great. We're just trying to find places that we haven't explored yet. Or air, even just like little areas that might, maybe there's a caravan over in this little black area that we haven't seen. Nope. Um, maybe we go north a little bit. Yeah, could be something here. Right, it gets a little dangerous around this area, as we've seen. There are goat people. Uh, there are also Naphtali, uh, one of the 12 tribes of Israel, by the way. Um, I don't, that's, that's where the name comes from. Uh, but we're fine fighting them. This is no problem. Look at that. Uh, you can say I just loaded this in, so it's... I need to lower, lower that down. Um... Naftali Corpse. Um, I think we can... Uh, we sold a lot of stuff, so we can pick up some other stuff to sell now. We have a lot of inventory space. Our strength has gone up, so now our inventory space uh, is over 400 pounds. Uh, our character sheet... Yeah, our strength is plus 5. Strength of 27. Pretty awesome. Let's see if we can't explore... Some of these, even though we've been to these uh, tiles on the map, um, let's explore some of the fog of war that we haven't seen before. Oh, hello there. Yeah, 150 XP is not bad. Uh, unload. But we definitely have seen goat people with carbide weapons in this biome. And I'm a little nervous about that. Just a little. So far, so good. Up. Oh. Just a club. Yeah, these Naftali give us still give us a decent amount of XP. Uh, let's go west. Okay, uh, that leech is hostile, but I'm pretty sure we can take it. Um, I we can fire at it also. Oh, wow. Killed it with one shot. Reload. We still have a ton of slugs, right? Yeah, 282. Your weapon can get damaged, though, if you use it too much. Um, I would love some carbide axes. That would be awesome. Uh, yep. Come to me. Boars are not giving us a lot of XP anymore. That's okay. They're still giving us a little bit. And they are, you know, when we started the game, they were very dangerous, and now they are not a threat at all. Um, AV is 6, DV is 4. MA is 4, which I think is not terrible. Nice. Cleave right through the armor. These axes are awesome with the skills we have. Um, yeah, I'm glad we're exploring this kind of tougher biome now. I think it's time. It was time. I think we can do it now. Um, and this may be oof, where the caravan is. Uh, you're not hostile, are you? No. Honey skunk. Um, just attack, yeah. 
We don't need to use ranged on the leeches. They're easy enough. I think we're probably too far north. No, 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 up, sorry. Oh, no, we're within, we're still within a parasang. Oh, yeah, the Goat Folk Village. That where, that's where we saw. We're still within a parasang of, oh, this guy's tough. Um, all right, let's fire something at you. Are, is the beetle hostile now? Let's fire. Now let's dismember. Oh, we should have charged. I, yeah, I forgot we had charge. Uh, let's dismember. Uh, that did not work. Um, or right, there we go. Cleave through his armor. Uh, I just want to be careful. You are cleaved, but you have good weapons and massive horns. You hit us for nine there. I think we can afford to attack again. Um, we hit you again, but I'm not loving this. One more time. We got this boar here now, too. Let's kind of back up. Okay, let's attack you again. Uh, you're still fine. I think you're winning this fight. Slightly. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, I don't like you at all. Protect me, honey skunk. Um, I'm going to fire. And then I'm going to sprint. And we're going to run away. And we're going to try to get our health back. Over here. Okay. Reload. Now that it's actually nighttime, we might stand a better chance since we have night vision. Look at you. We saw him. I want to get to where, like, we can get a good... Um, I want to be able to see him where he can't... Oh, gosh. All right, you can see me now. You are still hurt. Let me just try attacking you here. Uh, I mean, we can dismember again. Let's try that. Didn't penetrate the armor. It's too bad. All right, one more time. Ooh, all right, you're bleeding. That's... Wait, you're... Oh, yeah, that's us. Yes, you're cleave for minus three armor. You're bloody, bleeding. And, oh, it looks like we did take off your armor. I was like, didn't you have two carbide weapons? You did. But you only have one arm. So now you're a lot easier. I feel pretty confident about this now. Yes. So, chain boots, um, your corpse. We're, we'll take these carbide weapons. Um, chain boots. Right now we have leather boots for one armor value. Um, do we want a second armor value at the expense of three dodge? I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, let's rest up. Oh, we can kill this leech. Rest up again. Okay. And now I think we can continue. Continue north. Carefully. Um, as long as we have the ability to run away with sprint. I mean, we want to be careful of that that guy with a gun. Yes, you. Um, just destroyed a tree. Uh, let's charge at you. Uh, charge. Cool. And now let's dismember you. Um, how are we doing here? 
not a wonderful. That six finger chain gauntlet sounds interesting. I would love that. We cleave through your armor. Ouch. Ooh. Um. I think we sprint away now. Yeah. I'm scared. Sprint. Um, ouch. All right. It's a good thing there are a lot of trees to hide behind here. We definitely played that a little close. But just like last time, let's heal up over here. We are hungry. Um, make camp. Cook. Oh, nice. Plus one to hit for the rest of the day. That's a nice little random cooking effect. All right, and now... Okay. You hit us. Are you still hurt? You are. We'll fire at you. Eh! We're going to be much better at melee combat. Uh, let's try to dis dismember again. All right, we, dis we dismembered you. We chopped off your right arm. Now this fight's going to be a lot easier again. Excellent. Leveled up. Yeah, 375 XP. Pretty good. Let's check out these chain gauntlets. Six finger chain gauntlets. Oh, wow. So it gives us... Does it give us two agility or one agility? It's a little confusing. We'll take those. Um, I'll take another desert rifle. At the, um, at the very least, it sells for a good amount. And I'll take your two long swords. Let's rest all healed. And let's... Um, let's take a look at our... We got another attribute point. Let's get our strength to 28. Heck yeah. Plus 6 strength. And we have 164 skill points. Um, we're just one more strength point away from Decapitate. I'm sorry, from Berserk. So we may actually want to just keep our skill points for that, for when we get uh, this available to us, so that we have 300 to spend. I think that's what we're going to do. Um, great. And after we finally get that, we might get, um, Shield Slam. But I would also love to get some Tinkering. We need, we want Tinkering 1. Um, oh, right, right, right. So, Borskin Gloves. I guess because this also increases our agility, let's use them. Now, this does... Knock our dodge value down to three. So it's kind of like the choice we had also with our boots, where we're taking a, a, a pretty significant um, penalty to our dodge value just for one armor value. But armor value, I think, generally is better. Um, and this uh, gives us... Oh, yeah. So our, um, our agility is now 20. If I remove those... It's 19. Okay, so it did increase it just by one. But um, it's it's just it's at that point where it increases our agility bonus by a, an additional point. So it's going to be plus two instead of plus one. So that is nice. Um, and we'll take advantage of that. Okay. We'll go north again. Let's see if we see any more goat folk. Yeah, we, fa we found a lot of carbide weapons, but not axes yet, unfortunately. Axes would be very nice. I'm trying to keep a lookout for... Oh, yeah, there's one. Um, let's fire. Oh, he hit the tree. All right, let's charge. Oh, fine. We could back up a bit. There we go. Charge. Okay, we cleaved through his armor. Um, pretty nice. Knocked his armor value down by two. You don't have an axe. Uh, we'll try to dismember you now. We chopped off your face. Um, okay, I don't know what that does to you other than makes you bleeding. He's missing his face. But I feel better about this fight. 
Did you just get... Did our armor just increase by two? Our armor value? Why isn't it showing our armor value at the top anymore? Um, that's weird. It just said plus two somewhere, right? Yeah, we blocked with our shield, plus one AV. Uh, all right, we'll attack again. Wounded. Yeah, I guess when we have a target, it doesn't show us our armor value? Ooh. Mm. I'll attack again. Well, actually... You are bleeding. I think we run back to be safe and hope you bleed out. And we'll attack again. There we go. All right. We'll pick up the long sword and the short sword. Kind of rest till healed. Beautiful. All right. So, yeah. Um, all right. Yeah, so I guess when you're in a fight, it hides that stuff on this particular user interface mode. Uh, hello. A sower. You have a battle axe. You have two battle axes. Oh, boy. Um, and you're not tough. Um, can I charge you? I can. And now let's dismember you. That worked. We took off your left arm. Uh, pretty good. All right, we killed you. So are seeds. These are grenades? I don't know what, what these are or how to use them. All right, we're going to take these axes. I think we're going to equip both of them. Uh, because you can see that the steel ones, um, they are 1d3 plus 1 with a penetration of 7, strength cap of 3. Whereas these carbide ones are 1d4 plus 1, penetration of 8, bonus ca uh, strength bonus cap of 4. So we can take more advantage of our strength. Um, yeah, it's, it's kind of interesting. Our strength is plus 6, but we're only getting bonuses for 4 of that um, right now with these weapons until we get better versions of these weapons. But still, uh, wielding two of these carbide ones is a really nice upgrade for us. All right, but still, no caravan yet. Ow! Sower Seed explodes. We take 19 damage from that. All right, we're running back. We're fighting two goat folk at once. We're going to sprint and get away. Because we don't want to fight two at once. That's a little too hard for us. We don't have the hit points. We just rest here. Uh, we don't have the hit points. We don't have the dodge or the armor. Uh, what are you? An ice frog. I assume you do ice damage too. Let's kill this leech. Let's fire. Uh... Or I could charge. No, I wanted to. I wanted to look at you. Yeah, just you just have a bite. Let's charge you. Are right, you been cleaved? Uh, we might as well dismember you. That worked. Okay, nice. This leech is bloated. Um, think that's okay. Kill these other leeches around. Okay. Yeah, you gave us a bunch of experience. Ooh, we got frog meat. Thank you. Restal healed. Um, let's also check the map. Yeah, we're within a parasang of where the caravan could be. There's the fro another frog. We can fire at it. Nice. We're missing. Our agility is plus two. Oh, you died. Great. I mean, I shouldn't be afraid of it, and I'm not, but I, you know, might as well kill it with bullets. 
All right, we're playing smart with the goat folk. Um, these axes are great. What are you... So are the giant leeches attacking the frogs? Seems that way. Uh, cleave. Cool. Bristol healed. All right. Oh, there's another frog. Hey, froggy. Uh, charge you. Anything over here? We discovered a uh, Kishwawar Tid Grove. That's cool. Just a little uh, star apple orchard. Can I go down at all? Yeah. A little bit. And we've been there. All right. Um, hello, leech. Yeah, a lot of XP from these leeches. Look, we're all already almost at the next level, which is going to be level 10. Yeah, I could kill a bunch more leeches. Wouldn't mind that at all. They don't give as much, as, as much XP as the goat folk, but man, are they easier. And 150 XP is uh, not bad at all. Uh, interesting... Where, okay, all, all the way over there. Um, are you attacking? I don't think you can see me. You're attacking that albino ape. Let's attack these goat folk from a distance. Well, actually, let's watch them fight the gorilla. All right, the gorilla died. Critical hit. Uh, I guess we could throw a sower seed. Um, let's see. Instead of a stone. Uh, how far can we throw? Yeah, let's throw it at the guy throwing silver seeds. Nice! Let's kill that leech. Uh, let's reload. That guy's by the light. Maybe he's easier to see. Yeah, let's keep doing, attacking from a distance here. Uh, dismember. We... Oops, my phone's buzzing. Um, let me uh, put my phone on silent briefly. Um, I don't think we chopped anything off there. Did we? No. But... Um, I think I feel okay about this. We can always run back. Ooh. I chopped off your feet. Okay. Let's attack you now. Reload. Uh, how hurt are you? You're not hurt at all. I think we run back because we are hurt. You don't have ranged weapons. No. And this place is all explored. Um, I could charge you. Uh, we can dismember again. I don't like that we have only 27 hit points right now. But we still have our sprint. Let's try charging you. And then dismembering. And if we get lucky with the dismember, and we did, we took off your right arm. Um, let's run away more, because I'm still nervous about the number of, amount of hit points we have. Okay, you didn't follow us, which is interesting. Let's just fire at you. All right, let's charge. Ouch. There we go. Dead. Um, slender dagger. Nice steel boots. That is better than the other boots we've seen, isn't it? No, not no it's not. Um herp, ape fur cloak. That would go over our burnous. We'll take it, although I bet it lowers how much apes like us. Is that right? Yeah. Although it gives us cold resist. What does our burnous do? Not much. 
I mean, it gives us an evasion. It gives us an evasion. The furs are armor slot, right? Yeah. And the fur cloak gives us evasion too. I mean, we'll keep it just for if we need a uh, cold resist. All right, let's go back up. I want that, tre that uh, treasure chest. It is... No, it's still not daylight. I think they can't see us. This guy's going to throw grenades at us, isn't he? So we're seed. Yeah. There it goes. Was that the last one you had? Yeah, that was your last one. Um, can we charge you now? We sure can. Can we dismember you? No. Um, you are injured, but let's run back. Are you bleeding? No. Snakeskin armlet. I wonder what that does. Um, this guy's missing. Oh, no, I thought I dismembered him. I don't know. Let's run back for 18 ticks and see if we can't just try to dismember you again. Um, we'll fire at you. Uh, all right, I'll reload. Ooh, you got a critical hit on me? I'm going to dismember you. I missed. Ah, uh, you hit me. Let's... Let's run, sprint. All right, you didn't follow us into this biome. Which I'm very glad about, because you were doing some damage. Um, I think you're pretty hurt here. You are. Uh, let's charge. Oh, right. I can't. Now we can. Yes! Killed you. Um, snakeskin armlet. Oh. Two evasion. Um, a slender cut of brass painted and intricately worked into the shape of a poisonous serpent. That goes on the arm. It would be instead of a buckler. Yeah, I don't know about that. Um, we'll take it. We'll take your weapons. A steel buckler. Now that is definitely better than a wooden buckler. Yeah. One and negative one for a wooden buckler. Um, I'm going to put the scaled one on this one. And yeah, it's just plain better. So that's nice. I think we can just drop the... Uh, the other wooden buckler that we had. Great. Gives us another armor, which is really nice. All right. And uh, that was the last goat folk I remember seeing up here. Uh, let's reload. There's one, but it's attacking something. Let's see what's in here. Uh, yeah, thanks. It's a, it's a chest. Um... We'll take the meat, we'll take the rubber tree seed, and let's just go ahead and try to examine this artifact. Fix its spray foam. Nice. Uh, is any of our armor cracked or anything? No, we're fine. Nothing needs repairing. We are hungry. Can we cook? Nice. Um, you're cleaved. You have some nice gloves there. Yeah, these goat folk have much better stuff. Oh. I want some of the steel plate mail. All right, let's take care of... Where'd that goat folk go? Oh, you're attacking the leech. Okay. Uh, let's charge you. Let's dismember. Yeah, we're having trouble dismembering these people because they are pretty well armored, I think. Uh, we can just attack. All right. Your cleave bleeding, bloody. Let's back up a bit. I wouldn't mind the uh, ape helping us out here. Nice. Thanks, ape. 
Um, chain gauntlets. We'll take the elastine gloves. We're starting to run out of inventory space. And I think rather than take this long sword, I think I want this serrated version because that's going to be worth more. And the steel plate mail, I feel like the chain mail is just better, right? Because it's, I mean, again, one armor value at the expense of three dodge value. I don't know what that's, we already have chain mail. Yeah, I think we're fine. We'll take this other long sword. That's about all we have room for. Carbide dagger, maybe we have room for. Are there other goat folk that... Are there goat folk corpses on this map? I don't think so. Uh, so something fighting over in the west. I thought I saw something over here. Ah! Yep. Just took a bunch of damage. Let's charge you. You're not going to... You're not going to grenade us if we're right next to you. Try dismembering. We did dismember your right hand. Um, all right, I think we can do this. There we go. Oh, we're bleeding? Uh, let's use a bandage. Um... Okay, let's use another bandage. Let's use another bandage. I know there's also, like, there we go. Um, there's a skill that lets you use bandages more effectively, I think. Oh. These things are interesting and probably worth a bunch. And a masterwork short sword. We're going to have to drop some stuff. What are we looking at in the armor here? Chain boots, two, negative three. I think we can drop those. That helps. Oh yeah, the mirror shades we could fix. We're not wearing anything on our face right now. Um, we could use the fix it stuff on that. Maybe we should. Um, yeah, sure. Is that in B? Yeah. Apply it to the mirror shades. Okay. Yeah, now they're fine. Hooray! Um, all right. That freed up some space. So we have the skin suit, which is 1-3, and the skull cap, which is 1-1. One, one. That's just, well... It's better than a null worm skull, but it would remove the ego that it gives us. But also because it's pretty good. I think when we go into town, we'll switch for better pricing. We'll switch to the null worm skull. But in the meantime, we'll put this on. Um, and it's just going to give us more armor. Uh, well, no, more uh, dodge, more dodge value. Great. Seven and four. All right, we're still not finding this caravan, but we're loaded up. So let's fast travel and go back to town. Great. Tamrakish. Uh, and uh, in that vein, let's switch our skull cap and put on the Nullworm skull. And let's talk to you. Okay, so we have lots of stuff we can sell. Um, yeah. We have another Nullworm skull that we're wearing. Snakeskin armlet. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe we keep it? Don't think we need this. Oh, right, We. I think some of the stuff we might want to keep just in case, depending on, like, what situation we're in. Maybe. Anything that's scaled. We have a lot of raw meat. We should learn how to cook. Um, a lot of carbide stuff. Let's sell all of this. All right, that's a ton. Um, and all these things. Look at all this. 
Uh, that's all worth so much. Now, now you have a carbide battle axe when we don't need one. Um, what do we want from you? We could take a couple of copper nuggets. We could get some weird artifacts. Yeah, you don't really have that much, honestly. Can't have it all can be very nice. Um, I just, sorry, I just moved my mic. Uh, it, right, adds random effects to cooked meals, but we're not cooking yet. Um, still, when you do cook, it can be really nice. It can even give you, like, permanent attributes. Uh, you have a chem cell. I guess we'll take these artifacts, even though we don't know what they are. And we'll take all this stuff. And that's it, huh? Uh, and the copper nuggets. Yeah, and we can't, we can't actually sell all this stuff, so. Um. All right, and then you'll give us some water. Fine. Cool, and then let's go to the tinker and do the same, same thing. Let's trade. Yeah, we still haven't located the Dromad thing. Somebody had a firefly. Oh, this is a flighting light source. Which, you know, you can see how expensive it is. Um, and even this only emits light in a radius of four. It also gives you a nice reputation with insects. That is nice. Um, we may want this anyway. But, uh, yeah, with the night permanent night vision, it's just better. Um, oh, yeah, the data disks. Maybe we should have gotten one of these instead so this is tinker one musket yeah don't care tinker two i don't think we can do anything with tinker two solar cell that's nice electro bow um navigation uh chem cell yeah, maybe we get the blueprint for solar cell that sounds really nice Um, if we can afford it. Can we afford it? Not really. <laughs> um, this is a chem cell. Yeah, we might as well figure out how to make these. Yeah, I'll buy it. Uh, anything else? No, that's it. Yeah, we should learn, know how to make a chem cell. Um... We're still over paying by a large amount. I guess I want to keep the stuff that's um, lighter. Okay. Nice. Then let's ID these artifacts. Oh, wait. Can I tell you to... Can I ask you to identify them? Isn't that a thing? Um, identify. Oh, yeah. Flaming steel short sword. Okay. Stasis grenade. Um, we're not going to be wielding that, but uh, when we get to the six-day stilt, we can get rid of it there for some uh, mechanist points. Uh, cool. That's nice. forgot that you could have them identify it for... For drams of water, which are like nothing to us now. Uh, data disks. We will learn them. Oh, right. We need to take care of one for both of them. Okay. All right. So we'll eat also. And we still haven't found that stupid caravan. Um, we're doing well. We're almost uh, strength. We're, you know, almost strength 29. Um, two active effects. Oh, yeah. Um... We have 262 skill points. Um, I think next episode we go back. I think we still try to find this caravan. I know it's taking a long time, but we're we're really... Um, this grind has been really good. We're able to take on these goat folk carefully at this point. We got better weapons, better armor. Um, it goes on. I'm enjoying playing with you today. Uh, I did enjoy playing with you today. I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.